I met someone else who I considered a brother. We weren't blood related, but he was still very close to me. I remember one day, it was in the summer, I was 14. I, I'm not sure what neighborhood you grew up in, but you know, all the kids are out on the block. We're sitting on the porch, chilling, playing music, whatnot. We were walking to the corner store to get some junk food. There was a car that passed. They were coming really slow and we're like, this might be what we think it is. But by the time they were shooting, there was no places to like duck behind. I wasn't street smart back then either, so I was really stunned. I was like laying there for a minute. I was trying to like calm him, but I knew that by the time, you know, he was already gone. That was the first time I've been targeted at in a drive-by. Like I seen people get shot before, I even seen people die before, but this was the first time it was someone that I considered a brother to me. Having so many things happen, like, you know, from that to being followed on the street or being harassed on a daily basis. It's hard to feel safe when you know you're gonna step outside. You have to think, am I gonna come home again? Like, am I gonna make it? I take the most precaution around the police because of how they treated me before. <laughs> it's hard, but I try to look not guilty, even though I haven't done anything, but you know, I'll take my hands out of my pocket and I'll put my phone away in case they try to say it's not a phone. But the actual feeling of safety never came back 100%. I don't think it'll ever be like that for me. No one wants to hear me and people always just want to be angry and point fingers. And I just actually need someone to just say, yeah, I hear you. A lot of us will just pretend it's not happening. We'll put a smile on our face, but we're not actors. We're actually real people and we're going through things and we need to talk about it. Because that's how you know you're truly healing when you're able to say, yes, this happened, but I was able to move past it. Just so many people around me that I know have like a family member that's in jail or they know at least one person. It shouldn't be like that. Jail shouldn't be the norm. I personally rarely ever see people get out of jail and say that they're a changed person. <laughs> at least let them have like the mental health resources and let them have the chance to come back out and, you know, actually be a returning citizen. Just having, especially on the West Side, more jobs and more programs for students to go, just having the resources that we need and we're able to have it easily accessible to us. What was the purpose of having them go to jail just to come out and you, you took away the rest of their opportunities? They went from little opportunities to no opportunities. My raft is strength, that's why I got this tattoo. I am strong. <laughs>